The armor of Odin Egg, also known as the armor of the Love Spot, was an accomplished human of high renown. The armor is most known for his appearances in multiple Irish legends. Today we will be focusing on the pursuit of the armor in Grania. Before we get started on the pursuit, we must first talk a little bit about the armor's father, Don. Don was a knight of Fianna and respected member, and while attending a party, he noticed that a lot of attention was being given to Ingus' steward's son. Just as the attention he was getting, Don secretly killed the son out of his own greed. Ingus was able to resurrect the son, but as a boy, not a man. The steward was outraged by this and exclaimed he would find the man who killed its son. After figuring out it was the Ormud's father, the steward put a curse on the Ormud that he would die by the boar. Now that we've talked about the curse, we can begin to talk about the pursuit. The story begins with Fionn McCamhara, a renowned adventurer and leader of Fianna, having just lost his wife. His son from a previous marriage suggests the best woman for him would be Grania, the daughter of the High King of Ireland. Grania is outraged as she has to marry the aging Fionn, for she thought she would be marrying Fionn's son Olsen or his grandson Oscar. Determined not to marry him, she decided to hatch a plan to run away with one of the champions of Fionn instead. She drugged everybody at her wedding party, aside from six warriors, one of which being Darumad. She was sure that one of the warriors would run away with her. After being turned away by one of the knights, she turned to Darumud and immediately fell for him. This is because of Darumud's mark of love, which was bestowed upon him after sleeping with the woman of incredible beauty. This curse would cause all women to fall in love with him. Darumud refused her advances at first. But Grania posed the key also a curse upon him that forced him to follow her. The Ormud's friends were saddened by this, for they knew that Fionn would hunt him down for his betrayal. Not in control of the, his own actions, he left the palace knowing very well that Fionn would hunt him down. After Fionn awoke, he was outraged and sent Clan O'Nelby to track him down. Fionn's son and grandson, Olsen and Oscar, were determined to help the Ormud however they could, for the Ormud was their friend. After leaving the palace, the Ormud and Grania headed to the woods of two tents, where he set up a fence with seven gates facing all the different directions into the forest. After catching up with them, Fionn told his soldiers to surround them and capture them. The soldiers, however, betrayed Fionn and offered the Ormud and Grania a way to escape. The Ormud, however, refused to let them sacrifice their honor for his sake. The Ormud's foster parent, Ingus, offered to help the Ormud escape. But he refused and instead insisted he help Grania instead. Ingus took Grania and escaped into the woods where the army vaults over the fence after them. After escaping from Fionn, they find themselves in the middle of the forest of the birds. The forest of the birds is known for its berries that allow the eater to remain young forever. These berries were recorded by the giant Silverhand. The army asked Silverhand if he and Grania can live there and hunt the animals of the forest. Sirbahan agrees as long as they don't try to eat the berries. Grania later asks if she can eat the berries, which results in the giant attacking Dormu, who ends up killing him with his own weapon. Fionn travels to the same forest where he and his son Olsen play a game of Finchel. Finchel is a board game that is featured in many different Irish legends. Even with the help of his friends, it is obvious that Olsen is no match for Fionn. That is, until Dormu, who is hiding in the tree above him, Starts throwing berries where the Olsen should move. Doing this, Olsen beats Fionn three times in a row. Fionn, realizing something is wrong, spots the Ormud in the tree and tells his men to capture him. The Ormud kills seven of the warriors before Olsen betrays his father and escorts the Ormud out of the woods. Desperate to kill the Ormud, Fionn then travels to the land of promise where he acquires the aid of the old note Bataman. Bartimeo makes poison thoughts capable of piercing the Ormu's armor and actually manages to hit the Ormu with a few of them. Despite this agonizing pain, he is able to kill her using Gay Turk. After this last failed attempt, Fionn officially pardons the Ormu and Grania. The Ormu and Grania get married and live in Sogo where they have five children. One day, however, Grania convinces the Ormu to invite their friends and family, including Fionn, to a feast. During the feast, Fionn convinces the Ormu to participate in a boar hunting competition. The Ormu takes his sword Vigalter and his spear Gay Bood. 
Despite this not being his best weapon, Diomu is convinced he can win the competition. Diomu comes across a boar who has already killed several men. The boar surprises Diomu and severely wounds him before Diomu can react. Fion has the ability to heal any wound with the water drunk from his hands, but Fion goes to river twice and by the time he comes back, the water has fallen between his fingers. Ocean and Oscar threaten Fion to go back a third time to get the water, but unfortunately, by this time, it is too late. The Omud has succumbed to his injuries. And so ends the story of the Omud and Kranya. The Omud was a great warrior who fought with honor until his untimely death. Next time, we will be focusing on the Epic of Gilgamesh. So, until then, make sure to like and subscribe. And this is Data from Fireside Lore, signing off. See you later, guys.